Hello and welcome back. In this Black Exilus presentation, we will highlight the 10 things you should know about cryptocurrency and the blockchain. Welcome to BlackExcellus.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. For over a century after the Emancipation Proclamation, institutional policies ranging from Jim Crow segregation to modern day redlining have disenfranchised black consumers and citizens from achieving the true American dream with generational wealth. Sadly enough, black Americans hold not even 4% of $116 trillion in wealth in the US, according to data from the Federal Reserve. But with the advent of cryptocurrency, there is a sense of hope and many African Americans view it as a symbol of freedom from an oppressive financial system. In this original Black Exilus video, we will be featuring cryptocurrency and how the blockchain can help the Black community gain power and financial wealth. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, the blockchain is the technology underneath cryptocurrency. The blockchain is a distributed database or ledger of transactions shared across thousands of peer-to-peer -peer computers called nodes. These transactions are grouped together into blocks that are linked together one by one to form a long chain. This linear chain of blocks is what is referred to as the blockchain. It's important to note that once a transaction is added to the blockchain, it cannot be changed, thus adding to the security and trust that a blockchain can instill. Number two, cryptocurrency and blockchain are two separate things. As for cryptocurrency, it is the digital currency or cash system that is used in the transactions that are recorded in these distributed ledgers on the blockchain. The transactions are protected with cryptography and sent to all of the nodes to update their local version of the public ledger or blockchain. Since the blockchain is open for anyone to participate and everyone has their own copy of the ledger as it gets updated with fresh encrypted blocks, you have a system that is transparent, decentralized, trusted, and secure. Number three, Bitcoin is a form of cryptocurrency like Dogecoin, Ether, and Litecoin. Bitcoin is the first widely adopted cryptocurrency or digital money that successfully utilized the blockchain technology to perform secure, seamless peer-to-peer -peer transactions on the internet. It is virtual money. You cannot print, touch, feel, or store in a physical safe or wallet. Technically, Bitcoins are a bunch of bits or series of zeros and ones stored on the network of nodes around the world. Bitcoin was created in 2009 by an unknown individual or a group to provide a way to pay for transactions without a third party like a bank. Bitcoin is scarce like silver or gold and the supply is capped at 21 million coins. At the time of this video, the market value of one Bitcoin is hovering around $50,000 but Ether and other alternative coins are projected to rise as demand grows and popularity swells. The future of money is now. Number four, education is the key to not only participating, but helping build the blockchain. For cryptocurrency to be taken seriously in the black community, more must be done to educate the masses on what cryptocurrencies are and how the underlying blockchain technology works for them. Black technologists will have to take the reins and be proactive in educating our community on this new technology and not depend on others to fill the gap. Education will be the catalyst for ensuring that the cryptocurrency space is made up of different ethnic and racial backgrounds, including women who are often underrepresented in the tech space. There are already many black pioneers, enthusiasts, and innovators in the blockchain and fintech industry that are networking, learning from each other, and information sharing. However, we expect that HBCUs, community centers, and churches will also step up to trailblaze the next phase, which is Web 3.0. By educating the black community on the decentralized technologies in a concerted effort to propel black students at the forefront of new blockchain protocols.
Number five, equal access to the financial system is the key to building generational wealth. While cryptocurrency continues to expand its footprint in the global financial ecosystem, there is a strong consensus among the black cryptocurrency community that one of the greatest benefits to the blockchain is its disruption to the traditional financial services. So here's the backstory. Governments took the right to print money and introduced themselves as intermediaries between two parties of trade through the creation of central banks. This central banking system design and the American government has tag-teamed to suppress the black community's access to the current financial system for centuries. And it's due time for a change. We simply cannot wait for this same government to transform policies or act in good faith with our best economic interest at heart. Cryptocurrency in the blockchain just may be a solution to help fix the economic injustice and wealth disparities that have crippled our ability to create generational wealth. A decentralized financial system that is absent of racial discrimination, immune to federal manipulation, and one that offers new opportunities, such as a trusted peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, can empower us to take the future of banking into our hands. Number six, cryptocurrency offers us an opportunity to take our power back. These racial and systemic issues that hindered our ability to build generational wealth has been fermented for decades. And we are not proclaiming that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is the silver bullet that will solve all our problems, but it's one promising solution. So let's talk about how we can take our financial power back. We must own and invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. We must participate with trading it on cryptocurrency exchanges, earning it by creating content and NFTs or shopping with cryptocurrencies. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we should accept Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as another form of payment. We should also consider holding a small percentage of your retirement fund in Bitcoin to help diversify your portfolio. For the first time in American history, we have an opportunity to excel in a financial system that is not built on top of redlining, prejudice underwriters, and racial discrimination practiced by corporate banks and larger financial institutions. We have a golden opportunity to shift our mindset and commit energy into building and participating in a new peer-to-peer -peer decentralized financial system. Number seven, mining cryptocurrencies is a great way to get involved in the technology. Mining in the crypto world is the process of keeping blockchain data in check. It involves hard work done by computers and results in a slow accumulation of resources, just like mining for minerals. Mining for Bitcoins or other cryptocurrency innately incentivizes stakeholders to solve mathematical equations that secure the network in exchange for rewards and new coins. Solving these complex puzzles requires the proper machinery, computer, or device. Some cryptocurrencies can even be mined from a smartphone. Nonetheless, there are thousands of computers running the software to record and validate transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. You too can purchase the right equipment necessary to participate in this new movement to not only help build the blockchain of your favorite cryptocurrency, but you can also get paid for it as well. Mining is not just an incredible way of earning passive income with cryptocurrency. It's also a great way to become knowledgeable about the blockchain's back-end technology. Number eight, the next wave of innovation will be driven by black entrepreneurs. As more of our community becomes educated and participate more in the technology, the freedom of cryptocurrencies can create a perfect storm of innovation for the black community. The next wave of innovation will be driven mainly by the activity of black entrepreneurs and consumers online. Diverse entrepreneurs and those creating solutions for different audiences are solving problems for the fastest growing demographic segments in the United States, people of color. The blockchain and cryptocurrency will provide vast amounts of opportunities for underserved communities and those that represent the new American demographics, as well as the country's consumer markets of the future. Number nine, crypto incentivizes people to operate together. 
we have discussed in great detail how crypto may have a great potential to correct the inequity of our financial system, but it also incentivizes people to collaborate and operate together who normally wouldn't. The motivation is simple. Crypto is trustless, neutral, and public. Crypto moves us away from an environment where we need to assume trust in a group before we can do business. This is a different paradigm shift and is very important when we really dig a little deeper. Because most black business owners are relationship oriented and are less likely to enter into strategic partnerships. With crypto, there's a built-in protocol that reinforces consensus, transparency, and integrity. Many in the African-American business community only feel comfortable doing business with their own ethnic group or social group due to lack of trust. The blockchain platform and cryptocurrency protocol may allow us to expand our window of people we are willing to do business with. Number 10. We must secure our seat at the table in the current revolution. In what is considered the last technology revolution with the birth of the internet, very little representation for people of color was present in the building of its backbone. As a result, communities of color have had little ownership and stake in the vast amount of wealth that the tech revolution generated. Today, there are a number of black engineers and leaders in STEM but we are still dramatically underserved in tech, and our challenges in securing venture capital is more dismal than it was a decade ago. Unfortunately, black people are beneficiaries as consumers, internet users, and social media participants, but very few of us are core stakeholders in the companies that run and profit from these platforms. This time needs to be different. This time, we need to have our seats at the table. It's important that the Black Brain Trust plays a role in helping shape Web 3.0. Crypto is a supreme option for Black technology leaders to be on the cutting edge, helping build the infrastructure for this decentralized internet. We stand to benefit significantly from both the transformation, the legacy, and the new financial opportunities that will arise from it. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.